Hi everyone, this is Stuart Metcalf from Canonical's ISD team here. I want to demonstrate a new feature on Ubuntu SSO which we're releasing next week. Right now, if I want to use my SSO account to sign into a random site on the web using OpenID, it is possible that Ubuntu SSO will only provide my username. I can give you a quick demo here. And here you can see that Ubuntu SSO is only going to return my username. Now, if the remote site requires additional information like name and email address, it actually has to prompt me for that, even though it's already stored in the SSO database. To get the extra information as part of the standard response, the site has to send an email to our admins asking for special permissions to be granted to them. It's not an ideal situation and not a great user experience, and we've been keen to change it for a while to remove the restrictions and pass control of personal data back to our users. So let me give you a quick demo now of the new feature. I'm going to use our staging site because that's where the code is currently deployed. And you can see now that I'm actually prompted to, to provide a whole load of extra information that wasn't there before. Obviously my username and email address there. Those are both required information and they're pre-selected. You can unselect those and not return them to the site. The other pieces of information are optional, they're not selected by default, but again, you can check those. So you have full control over what data you return to the site. And there I am, return to type and logged in with the data I've chosen to share. Thanks for watching.